I'm going to show you in 2025 how to add mods quickly and efficiently into your Eternos server. Number one, so I'm in my server here. You want to go to software, as you can see here, and click change. Scroll down a little bit to Forge. Now, you may be also installing NeoForge, or maybe it's Fabric. Check the version of the mods you're using to know which one you need. Now, the mods I'm going to be showing you are Forge mods. So I click Forge, and then it has the versions of Forge. These little star icons are the version of Forge that are recommended. For example, on 1.21.1 of Minecraft, there's this version, um, but this one is the recommended one. So that's just going to be the more stable version. So I know that I want Minecraft 1.21.1, so I click this button here. And then where it's got the tick, that would say reinstall. I've already got this one installed, you see. So you click here, it would say reinstall. Then the mods icon on the left will appear. We can click on this mods icon, and this is going to basically ask us what mods we would like to install onto our server. I'm going to install the Waystones mod. So I click on Waystones, and then as you can see, there are tick boxes for the versions of this mod that are available for the version of Minecraft I've installed. For example, Waystones Forge 1.21.1. You can see here this matches the Minecraft version. I click the green button to install it onto my server. The little tick has come up, it's done. Now, it does say here, required dependencies. The Waystones mod requires the BARM mod in order to run. So click BARM here under required dependencies, and then again, just click the green icon for the version that you want, which is 1.21.1, and it's now done. You have now installed, if you go to files, and then mods, you can see the Balm and Waystones mod for Forge are now installed on your server, and so is Minecraft Forge. Now, you will also require these mods on your installation in order to play on the server. So I'm just going to go onto server quickly and press Start. Yes, I accept the EULA. And that's going to turn your server on with those mods installed. What I would recommend is that you then download Curse Forge and install this. This is the easiest way to install mods into Minecraft on your local installation. So download and install the CurseForge software. Then on the left you should see Minecraft. If you do not, press the plus button and either manually add a game which will ask for the fi a save file of my your .minecraft folder or just press scan computer for games and it should automatically find your Minecraft save. Then we're going to go create here, profile name, I'm going to call it subscribe. Minecraft version, make sure it matches the one you've obviously chosen, 1.21.1, and forge. Create, and that's going to make a separate installation as shown here for Minecraft 1.21.1 with forge. Add content. I'm going to search Waystone at the top, press install. And what Curse Forge often does is it will in also install the dependency for you. So I've now installed Waystones and Balm on my computer so that I personally have the same mods as the server. I then press play. This will also automatically install Forge for you. Through this is why Curse Forge is so great. If you search on my channel, I do have a tutorial on how to install Forge on versions of Minecraft. But this is specifically going to be a lot easier for you. Then on your Eternal server, you have the address here. Minecraft has launched. Multiplayer. Add server. Put in the address. And once the server has started up fully, it will then be here for you and you can play on the server. And that is how you install mods onto your Eternal server. Now, if you're wondering, can you upload external mods? No, they do not allow it. So if you've got mods that you want to drag into the files, Eternals just do not allow it because of viruses and security reasons.